Thanks for joining me today, and I'm going to go over how to cut and thread black pipe. This is inch and a quarter black pipe. It's not as easy as three quarter, but it's the same concept as any gas pipe or anything else. So let's get started. I'm going to do two different methods of threading today. So I have two different sides to do. On one side, I will show with a hand threader. And then on the other side, I will show using the rigid 700. So we got two different ways of doing it. So what you got to first do is... Well, I'm going to thread this side on this pipe. Before I could start threading, I'm going to have to ream this pipe. So, without reaming, you have a bar inside from the last time you cut, which creates turbulence on water or gas. This is going on a boiler, so this is a boiler pipe. So I don't want it to interfere with my water as it travels. Now three quarters is a lot easier to do than an inch and a quarter on reading because as you do this you're cutting into your pipe. Okay, let me clean up my burrs. Okay, it's reamed. Okay, we're all reamed out. All the little burrs are gone. So put the reamer back. I'll show you guys. There's no burrs. I'll show you after cutting the other side how it is, but it's nice and rounded out over here, which is how you want it. So this way there's no turbulence. So the next thing you're gonna need is to make sure you have some kind of oiler. So I like to give it a little squirt to begin with. Oil's gonna go back into the oiler bucket, the oiler to keep pumping. Let me tuck this in. Spare oil is just going to drip down. Go into that bucket. So now, I was doing three quarter before. This head is no good for now. So let's pop this head off. And put an inch and a quarter head on. And I got to come this way to thread it. So now I put it on. What's in the way? Any metal shavings or anything stopping me from getting on? It's a little bit messy of a job. Wiggle it on, make sure the boiler is right under it. Now I'm gonna push it in with this hand as I crank down just to get the initial teeth started. All right, there we go. Now I'm started. Now you're gonna oil it. You want to make sure you oil it good because you don't want to burn your teeth out on your dye. Every couple turns, give it a little oil. Dyes are expensive, so you don't want to burn out your teeth. Your spare oil is just dripping right back into your bucket, going right back into your reservoir. Okay, this is where it starts. A lot harder, especially inch and a quarter. Because you want it just before this. Yeah. Okay, got oil again. And if you don't pull too high up, you keep this lower, you can use your body weight to push it. Especially. Because what also happens, you get these shavings, which also start to build up and get in the way. Yeah, it'll fall out. 
Oh, the toilet. Almost there. Okay. Right out here. Should be pretty good. I'm gonna do one more turn because I like it almost be in to the end. Now when you see the power one, it's so much easier. That's at the end. Now let's with the oiler start up some of this shavings. Try to get them out of the way a little. Okay. Right, so now I'm gonna do one more quick down. Now I'm right before this. Everybody's got a different way of doing it, but you're not gonna thread all the way up on this. Anyway, there's some guys that say you gotta be flush with the end, some guys say you gotta be right before it. But you're gonna use maybe half these threads. Okay, so now to get it off, let's saturate again in the oil. Okay. Now you want nothing in your way as you're going to rotate this. I'm just going to make it harder to do this because to get it off is pretty easy. As long as there's nothing in the way. Let me go to the other side. Now, I'm going to push down. It's just the opposite. You're just not threading. Okay, so once you get to a certain point, you'll be able to pretty much spin it around and off. There you go. Be careful it doesn't hit you in the head. Just spin it off. There you go. Wipe with a rag. on your shavings, take a fitting, make sure your threads are good, good, see this one was no good, I, this one went in too deep, so this 90 is just a 90 now, but that sunk too deep in, so I decided I wasn't even going to use it to find out if it would leak, I just threw it away, it's here now just for a test, I don't even care to take it off, it gives me a handle, but this side is good. All right, so there you go with a manual threader. Now let's use the power. So I need to make a threader. piece that's 17 and a half inches long. So I got the cutter. Let's open up. Fill in the pipe. sitting on the pipe but I can still slide it a little so now 17 actually 17 and a quarter long I need so that's almost on the money without measuring right there perfect so let's cut the sides Every time I go around, I turn a little. It doesn't hurt to get a little oil in your cut. It saves your wheel. Where and there. And it lubricates your tool.
this is what unfortunately makes a bar it with the reamer. As you can see, there's a little lip here, and that's what you got to ream off. So let's get you guys closer and put that there. want to get that off okay and green what I do at the end is I don't push in deep I just get it to turn a little any of the loose little pieces on a little bit of an angle because you can keep ripping into the pipe if you're not careful okay there we go now that little whip is gone and there's no metal shavings because if you go too much you'll actually have metal shavings there so now let's move this forward so I got to have enough of a power threader to bite on. All right, so just like before, I'm going to start this off with a squirt of oil. I guess I got to reprime it. Okay, there we go. Lost its priming. So now, get this on. Two hands. I always recommend two hands on this because this thing's got some power. Even though when you first get started, you push in here. One hand can even be here to hold it. It's got power. There we go. Let's give it a little oil. We started the catch. That's what I'm talking about. Prevent burning your dyes out. And you'll see steam coming off this thing if, if you get it too hot. So. Probably too far, but. it's easier one person you actually have to stop the machine two people you could start to slow down and squirt in a little all right a little more oil okay, it's starting to lift me up push it back down in the other direction too so also helps loosen up some of these bars, some of the shavings that's just impacting it here. So you know, squirt, squirt. Okay, there we go. All right. So whatever. Now I'm gonna hold down because it's gonna. There, it did again. caught bit tries lifting I'm gonna oil again and you can see I'm just about done I really don't have to go much further at all got all these metal shavings though in here
Let's check the fitting. It's a messy job, but somebody's got to do it. There you go. It's a good fitting. Hope you enjoyed my video on cutting, reaming, and threading pipe, black pipe, power, and manual. Till next time, I'm Bill and I'm out. Peace.